Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well today. In today's video, we finally have the full public release of the Y2JB YouTube Jailbreak Project by Gazine. This is a user land exploit that could potentially be linked with the lapse kernel exploit later on to achieve a full jailbreak on the PS5. And that's exactly what we're all hoping for. Right now, what's available is only the user land portion of the exploit, so it doesn't fully jailbreak your PS5 yet. However, this release comes with several upgrades, better overall stability, and even a payload loader, which allows you to send and execute payloads directly on your console using this exploit. This is the official version 1.0 release. You'll find two options for setup, one with a ready-to-restore backup file and one that you can manually install. If you've never jailbroken your PS5 before, restoring the backup file from a USB drive is the simplest way. But for those who already have a previous jailbreak, you can download the download zero version and manually install the exploit file via FTP without having to restore a backup. I'll walk you through both methods so your console will be ready to go for future payloads, including, hopefully, the upcoming lapse kernel exploit payload when it's released. If your PS5 isn't jailbroken yet, you'll need to use the backup restore method. Just grab the backup zip file, extract the PS5 folder from it, and place it on the root of a USB drive formatted as XFAT. Plug it into your PS5, go to Settings, System, Backup and Restore, Restore PS5, and restore that backup. But before doing that, make sure to create your own backup first, because restoring someone else's data will erase your games, saves, and settings. Always back up your own data to a safe place before proceeding. Now, if you already have a jailbroken PS5, things are easier. You'll need YouTube version 1.03, USA region. I'll include the link below. Then, download the exploit archive named y2jb-download0.zip. Extract the file download0.dat and keep it ready on your desktop. Next, copy the YouTube PKG file to the root of a FAT32 or XFAT USB drive and plug it into your PS5. Run your existing jailbreak to enable debug settings. Then open the package installer under Debug Settings, Game, Package Installer, and install the YouTube app version 1.03. Once that's done, it's time to transfer the exploit file. But before that, activate the FTP payload on your PS5 if you haven't already. and make sure your PS5 and the computer you're using are connected to the same network. Use an FTP client on your PC. Connect to your PS5's IP address on port 2121 and navigate to User Download PPSA01650 if that folder doesn't exist, launch the YouTube app once or create it manually. Then, drag and drop your new download0.dat file to replace the existing one. Now, open your network settings on the PS5. Go to your Wi-Fi network's advanced settings and set your primary DNS to 127.0.0.2. Make sure it's set to manual, not automatic. After that, click OK. Your console won't connect to the internet, and that's fine, as long as you have a valid IP address under system, system software, console information, you're good. This step ensures that YouTube won't overwrite the exploit file while still keeping your console connected locally for payload sending. Before launching YouTube, make sure your PS5 account is activated. Otherwise, the app won't open. 
If you're using the restored backup, it's already activated. But if you installed manually, you can activate your account offline using the ETA Hen Toolbox Remote Play Activation feature. My PS5 already activated. After that, restart your PS5 afterward and you're good to go. Once everything's ready, open the YouTube app and it should start running the Y2JB user land exploit. You'll see a message showing that Remote JS Loader is listening on your IP and port 50,000. That means the exploit is active. Now let's send a test payload. On your computer, download the source code as a zip. Extract the payloads folder and open a terminal inside it. You'll need Python installed. You can get it easily from the Microsoft Store. Then type this command, python payload underscore sender dot py. Enter your PS5's IP, which should match what's shown on screen, followed by port 50,000. And finally, choose the payload file. Once you hit enter, you'll see a message on your PS5 saying hello from remote.js, meaning the payload executed successfully. You can even resend it multiple times or try your own payloads later. That's basically it. If you think using the Python script is too complicated, you can use Master 9's Y2JB Remote JS Loader Beta. It already has two payloads you can use directly by clicking them. And below that, there's a browser payload menu in case there's a new payload you want to try. Okay, let's try the payloads that are already here. First, hello world. You can see the notification appear on the PS5. You now have the userland exploit up and running and ready for whatever new payloads developers releases in the future. Hopefully soon, we'll see the lapse kernel exploit integrated as a payload, which could lead to a full PS5 jailbreak. Anyway, that's all for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe for updates, and I'll catch you in the next one.